story that was told thousands of years ago by a Native American tribe right here in Michigan. Chippewas? By the name of? Chippewas. Go see a mute. See you. And the, the story is how the sun came to be in the sky. These thousands of years ago, it was really dark. The earth was just this, this black orb, no light at all. Nothing was in, nothing was out. So everyone they had to hunt, they had to hunt things by, by just bumping into things. And there was this crow. This crow was a very fascinating crow. He didn't like this idea that of uh, always having to go long periods without food because he couldn't find the food. So one day in his little crow life, he was crawr, crawr, crying, looking for food. And all of a sudden, on the horizon, he saw this light, just a quick flash. And it was very eerie. And the crow talked to himself. What is this light coming from over beyond the mountains? I must go investigate this light. For I am a curious crow. Tell which was up and which was down, so he was giving him his best. He wanted to just go in the direction he thought he could go in, and the light, the light would flicker. It disappeared, it came back, it disappeared. But no, eventually it, it stayed. So he he stumbled upon there was a small cabin, and there was a flowing river coming up from down from the mountains. It was flowing. right next to the cabin. And so the crow tiptoed up to the cabin window and peered in. And all of a sudden, the light came back. Just it brightened up the room and there were shadows all about. And and there was a man in there. And he, he was holding this 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 orb, this like a basketball orb in his hand and it was it was just it was bright as anything. It was, it was shining, shimmering, it was just <clears throat> and and the crow was looking at this. I must have this light for myself. <laughs> so what can I do to get this light? I'm a very tricky crow. Very smart. I'll watch what this man does with this light. And so the man had the orb out for a little longer, and then he put it into a box. And this box he then set upon the highest shelf in his cabin. And the crow watched and saw this. Water from the stream! The old man falls out. Bring 
me more water. I am very parched.
joint, the more boxes he took out. And he was getting closer and closer, and every box he opened up, it grew brighter and brighter, and then all of a sudden, he was on the last box. He opened it up, and once again, the flash of light fills up the entire cabin. And the crow, disguised as a baby, turned into his real form as the crow. And he says to the old man, I have tricked you, old man, you old fool. I now have the orb. And so the crow took the orb by his great talons and he flew out of the window and he flew high into the sky. And the crow could finally see for the first time what was all around him. And what ended up happening is the crow didn't realize that just because he could see everything, all of a sudden, he could be seen as well. And a great eagle swooped down from the sky and tore him, swooped into the crow, knocking the crow down. And the crow quickly gathered up the orb as it was falling from his hands, picks it up, and he starts, heads off to the north into the great forest. And he's swooping in and out of trees, weaving in and out, ducking branches up and down, up and down, all over the place. And the eagle's fast down his chin. Right behind him, about to catch him, so close, get him there, and then all of a sudden, the, the orb drops. He loses his grip. No, not the orb! Not my precious orb! I have waited all my life to achieve and to hold and to see it and to have it as my precious! <laughs> <laughs>